Oh, hey, everybody. Good morning. This is Paul. It is a Thursday morning. It is a Jim Dandy uh, Thursday morning. The temperature is absolutely perfect uh, to toss discs. And we are going to be uh, going into launch mode here very shortly. Uh, Got to get the camera set up. It is now set up. And I shall be snacking on guava pastries because when you're in a Latino society, uh, nay, nay for donuts, but um, they do know what they're doing with these guava pastries. They're quite good. Uh, we'll be having a bite in between throws. Now, yes, you hear the generator because I'm cooking chicken and onions and that's it. And this is going to be my version of Chinese food because I, I bought soy sauce and I bought rice. So as any of you know, it takes about three and a half hours on that slow cooker to really cook um, chicken. You know what I mean? Like real, like, you know, heavy chicken, not wings, maybe sooner with that. But so we probably got about three hours to go. Uh, two and three quarters hours to go for the chicken to cook so in about an hour hour and a half I'll put on the rice and it'll finish roughly at the same time anyway we got about 25 discs here and we're getting ready to get this thing going so let's start out with the hapless 147, which is the previous record holder for distance, albeit a roller. So I can't say anything bad about it. I've uh, I got to sign the disc and uh, date it, uh, representing that massive throw, 428 feet. And now. Let's let the festivities begin. We're going to be throwing straight out today. We're not going to be going uh, for the right-hand side sewer over there. We're going to be going straight out. Now, here we go. Another bite of uh, guava pastry. Mmm. Okay. Um, uh, here we go. No. I had a rough night last night. No, I shouldn't say a rough night. I had a guy that refuses to talk to me. He's a guard, and um, he likes to use the term motherfucker. So every time he comes in, it's always motherfucker. So when I pressed him on it, he told me that he wasn't referring to me specifically as motherfucker. But the situation at hand, motherfucker. So I guess I had my car parked in a different place or whatever it was. And uh, he didn't care for that. Of course, there's a lot of things he doesn't care for. And uh, I, I tried to tactfully uh, tell him uh, and explain to him about the, the proper usage as an American we can speak with authority on motherfucker, okay? So, I don't know what the hell he is. I guess he's American. And uh, I, I don't think he's Haitian. I think he's a black American. Uh, I told him that I didn't want to hear that anymore in front of me. I don't want to hear about that. And we're at a nice place over there. And um, I basically told him, I just reminded him, and I guess it's because I reminded him of this, that he doesn't talk to me anymore. He comes in, he won't say one word, and I don't say one word to him. Um, that's the way he wants it. So um, I just reminded him that, you know, at his grandma's house or at his mom's or dad's, 
it, you know, that's probably uh, hurled about. Motherfucker's probably something that goes real well. But here, with me, motherfucker doesn't go real well. Especially when we're at a high-end job. I don't want to hear it, and I'm not going to be involved in that. So, more lunacy, which is partly why I represent myself as a god. Because, my goodness, what a piece of garbage filth that piece of garbage is. <laughs> That's not a black or white thing. That's just the way it is. Anyways, let's go ahead. I did a lot of work. What was it? day before yesterday and uh, my arm gets really sore because this weed eater weighs like 25 pounds or something it's ridiculous it's so heavy so let's go ahead and get to it and uh, let's go shall we anyways you know all my problems in my life now so let's go ahead and start throwing the disc uh, this is a 147 strike and here we go.
We got an embankment job and it's up quite a ways. That was the Katana 149 Pro and uh, it deserves it. That's a great little disc. That's a great little disc. I'm happy that it made it up on that embankment. It is deep. It's up there about three quarters of the way up. It's about a 400 foot throw. Here we go, we'll continue and try to get two. By the way, it made it on a skip, but not by much. Maybe about uh, 10 feet from where you see. So that's pretty much all flight. It was a very good flight. 149 Pro Katana. Can get out there. This is my beloved Halloween motif 145 Corvette. And it can get up and go. You throw it right, it goes far. It's around uh, six, seven, eight feet from the embankment. To the right a little bit. Okay, we got another strike. Here we go. Let's see if we can't get the strike to perform a miracle here. Uh, almost no wind here now. The wind is coming from the east, it appears to me, going this way. So it's helpful. I've had uh, good throws. With Easter, with westerly winds. Here we go. Strike 147.
Okay, folks, I want to give credit to this disc because it very seldom gets credit. Uh, this is a 163 Shrike. I have two of them. Yesterday, uh, the 163 Shrike, one of them won. It came in first place and it was a good throw. Uh, deep, uh, maybe about 15 feet off the embankment, something like that, 20 feet. And it was a good throw and uh, proves that the Shrike is going to see the embankment one of these days in the coming future, I would imagine. I'm going to keep my yapping down and I'm going to get this 163 as deep as I can. Here we go. Let it go too soon. I'm sorry, scratch that. <clears throat> I let it go too late. <clears throat> sorry, folks. Okay, here we go. We got a star fire. It's the only one represented. I, I stored the other ones, and uh, they were only going to have one chance to shine with this throw. I threw a 369-foot jack about two weeks ago. I retired the disc, signed and waiting for somebody who wants it. Here we go. This is an Innova. <clears throat> Starfire 150. Let's see if we can get some big digits out of this thing. We're looking for big digits here. Here we go. It's a good it's out there. It's uh, in excess easily of 300 feet. So that's more than 300 feet, to be sure. Okay, now we've got this, again, the disc all others fear. The 168 Pro Katana. It has a little brother here, the 165. And uh, that thing took first place uh, a few days ago. So maybe it was on Saturday or Sunday. So here we go. Uh... We are off. Okay, 168 Pro Corvette, nice and gummy. Uh, will it dethrone that throw over there? Um, that this that's around 70% of the way up the embankment. Well, if it does, it's going to have to be a high embankment. Here we go. <laughs> It's about a 335 foot throw. Uh, nice flight, but a little too high and uh, couldn't cut the mustard. We got the weapon of maximum distance. A lot of people are intrigued by this disc. Um, I would be too if I could throw this with more power. As it were, it's 188 grams. It's a great disc, very thick rim, all of that. But boy, you got to have a fucking cannon to throw this thing. Um, I don't know. I'd like to see Eagle McMahon throw this. I wonder how we do on it. <coughs> Here we go. Doomsday disc. Weapon of maximum distance. 188 grams.
It's too high, but it's a fair throw. It's fair. 300 feet, 305, 308 feet. Something along that line. Okay, we got a very crudded up. What is this, another star fire? Oh, I found this in the car. So what I said before is not accurate. I said that we'd only have one star fire. Evidently, this is a stowaway. And it is going to make two in this set. So I think the first one was an okay throw. Let's see if we can't do the magic here and get a deep throw. And the only way I can think of, of doing it is I have to Anheuser this because this disc wants to stay straight a long time and then go to the left. It's got to go to the right. Here we go. Starfire 150. Okay, just like that. That was the right way to throw that. I can't see it, but it's just a throw. I can't see it. It's ready to go. I don't know. I can't see it. I lost I lost the, the track of it. But I threw it just right. I threw it just right. Boy, that was a nice throw. I uh, anhyzer that at least slightly. It's not an embankment job, and it doesn't look like it's anything close to an embankment job. Let's see what we got. I did lose a little bit of power somehow in that throw. <laughs> Here we go. One It's a deep throw, but it didn't make it to the embankment and I don't see a skip up. So I would imagine it's around 25 feet from the embankment, probably still a 370 foot effort. <clears throat> or 360. 158, Dan Dallas. This one yesterday, I believe. Either that or it came in second. Here we go. six 307 something like that big arc okay we got a 157 almost the same disc uh day of dallas let's see if i can get this bastard on the embankment i've never gotten a day of dallas on the embankment i don't think maybe i got that 162 on the embankment i don't remember we're looking About 305 feet, just over 300, I would estimate. Okay. We've got, this is the high point. Whenever we throw discs, we always like to laugh and chortle and roll around uh, in the hopeless efforts that the New Zealanders uh, will make a disc that's actually throwable for great distances. And this is their best effort, I guess. Maybe it's not, this is only a 12. It's a 12, five glide, zero turn, which should be a minus a million turn because it goes back the other way instantly. And a three fade. Let's see if I can't give some dignity to the um, New Zealanders. It's up to me to give the New Zealanders respect. That's my 
responsibility. And I'm going to try to do it right here with this goofy fucking Cortair. Cortair. Here we go, which is evidently one of their little birds or something. <coughs> here we go. I left my discs out all night. I counted my discs, I had 12. I had 24 yesterday, and I found like one or two stowaways in here. Couldn't figure it out. Sure enough, they were out there. I don't know what's going on, because I was cooking and this and that, and I had to get to that fucking sentence that I serve, fucking whatever days a week. Anyways, folks, here we go. And I hate having to do it. Here we go. Cook, uh, not cook there. This is a pro, this is a pro 148 turn. Here we go. Uh, too bad. Had the right stuff, but if it wasn't quite enough stuff there, it would have rolled. But as it were, best we can do. Anyways, the leader so far is right there. It's uh, about 65% of the way up the embankment. And that's that 158. Is, is that the uh, Day of Dallas? If that's the Day of Dallas, the Day of Dallas has joined the embankment club, finally. I think that's what that is. I think it's a 158. I, I threw the 157 immediately after. Uh, 165 Catanum. Two hundred and thirty foot pancake, two twenty. Okay, we got a charger. As I keep telling you, the charger is waiting for a new owner. Uh, it signed with a long throw. I think it was around three hundred ninety five feet. It is signed. It made it. I think on the embankment. Yeah, it did. And it's a one sixty two red like this one. It's not a cheap disc. It's fifteen dollars. Couldn't get it any cheaper, so it was around 17 with shipping. Here we go. Um, I don't like the Charger any better than uh, the Wraith, honestly. I know it's supposed to be a cross between a Wraith and a Destroyer. I ordered a couple of Destroyers. They'll be in the next day or two. I'll see what I can do with them. But I typically, I don't think I'm, I don't like these discs. I keep going back to the turn, the Day of Dallas, <coughs> and the uh, Shrike. Okay, and the katana. Here we go. I uh, got some apes coming in next week. Uh, they don't make, at least uh, I didn't see that they make a uh, ape, a uh, pro ape. I don't understand it. 
So, go figure. So, I got a star ape. I think I got one. It's around a 350 foot throw. Maybe 350. Uh, 345, something like that. Pretty good throw. Here we go. Uh, here we go before all the golf carts get in the way. Here we go. 150. Throw ball. Boy, that was weird. It's the only disc this time that I threw left of the lane or to the left at all. And it looks like it disappeared. It just went down and I don't see any trace of it. So maybe it's in a ditch. I don't know. <coughs> we got another pro boss. Here we go. 150. A very good throw, albeit low. Uh, 155 Pro turn. Let's get this to the promised land, shall we? Let's get this over. Here we go. Uh, went off to the left, a little bit too hysery. About a 320 foot effort would be my guess. Uh, here's the other 149 Pro Pumpkin. Here we go. 149 Pro Pumpkin, turn. and uh, no second flight it's too bad it had a hell of a lot of spin on it okay we've got three discs left oh we got three discs this is a 149 I don't know what it is it doesn't say 149 Uh, we can't make out what it is. It's either a turn or a shrike. Here we go. Good throw. And that's me, folks. It's around 360 feet. strike it's still looking for the promised land it's never done it I don't believe here we go we're gonna try to get it there 163 strike Too low. 
Okay, folks. A second disc up on the embankment rides on this one right here. It is a 149. This is a Shrike. It's not, I think it's G Star plastic. I don't think that this is a um, champion plastic. You can't see your hand through it. So I think this is a G Star. I'll have to figure it out. I'll look at my orders and see if I can match it up. Anyways, 149. This is a Shrike. I'm not sure the Shrike is represented. Um, I'm not sure the Shrike is represented on the embankment. I'm not sure. So let's see if we can fix that. Here we go. considered deep in my book now let's go and let's have a look and let's see what we got going on here sorry folks I have to make sure that this thing is uh, working because these fucking idiots here at uh, Revel they don't understand that you might want to see yourself when you're making your recording and not have it be reversed but that's too complicated for them all right we do have uh, confirmation of recording you can see the blue disc. Looks like the Corvette is going to make 100% sure that it is a member of the Embankment Club <laughs> representing the Day of Dallas. It was the first because it made it within four feet dead center right there about uh, seven months ago. It was my first really long throw. And I knew it right away. I mean, I knew I'd never thrown like that before. And uh, that was the first throw out of the box of the 163 day of Dallas. Let's go immediately and let's have a look. We've got a deep throw there right by that yellow uh, tape. And we've got that one errant one out there. The three in the line there is probably that's the furthest to the left. OK, um, several of these throws were very deep. Uh, including that one up there to the right. So, obviously the embankment. Oh, wait a minute. Was that the 149? That was the Katana, wasn't it? That was not uh, a day at Dallas. That was that 149 Pro Katana that hit off the 80% uh, of the way up that fire de department uh, building. All right, so congratulations. Uh to the Katana 149. Jeez. Yeah, this is uh, further than halfway to be sure. Um, geez, this looks like it's around, I don't know, 70%, 72, I'd say 74%, maybe 75. That's a pretty deep strike. So we're going to measure that. I'll go get my wheel. There's your champion right there. It is a, I, I, is that a champion plastic? I just don't know. Maybe it's a G-Star. Maybe it's a pro. I really don't know. Uh, but it is definitely a 149 Katana. Now, over here, this is worthy of mention because I think this is the one that I told you that went pretty far. I threw it and it went to the right and I couldn't see it. And I knew it was a fairly good throw, but this is a good throw. And it looks like it's just maybe not quite to the post. No, it is. It is. It did make the post. It made the post in around one, about four feet. It just made it around a meter to four feet past that post. It's a deep throw, folks. Uh, when you're throwing over here, it's a little further. And we have a 350 foot mark somewhere here. Anyways, we got another one here. So this is a 149 pumpkin. This one is deep and it is very, very close. I'm glad I didn't move it. I think this one is just beating out that end disc forward out there. I think it's just barely ahead of it. In fact, this is very, very close. 
So this is going to be a fight for the third place finish, and we may have two third place finishers because when you're talking about this kind of distance, if I can't separate it by more than three inches, they get a tie, three or four inches. Once again, the little 145 Corvette with the Halloween motif, again, shows what a badass it is. The 145 Corvette is a badass. When you can throw this disc, this kind of distance, um, a little 145, you A, you know what you're doing, and B, you know you got a badass disc, albeit just a 145. So it has taken the second place honors, and it sits directly at the first evergreen bush. Not quite. Hold on. I don't know. It's pretty close. I'd say it's past that little dead tree to the left. I think it's the first. I think it's the first evergreen bush. It could be that little post to the left of it, which is probably about a meter to its left. Okay, and this has made it very close to the one, two, three, fourth pole. A very, very potent throw for that 145 Corvette. Taking second place honors. All these are honorable mention. All of these right here. These have all made it past the pole. Uh, did my beloved uh, weapon of maximum distance do it or no? I guess it didn't come in uh, the honorable mention section. I, I think I threw it too low. It's over there, I think. Okay, let's look at this one right here. Uh, okay, what the hell? Where's that disc? Okay, I got two of them. Where is the disc that I was just messing with? We've got this 162 Day of Dallas. I'm walking it over. Okay, it's hidden in that in those in that high grass, I think. That disc I was just messing around with, wasn't I? What 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 is going on? Wasn't there a th wasn't there a disc here somewhere? What's going on here? Yes, there's a disc here. And evidently it's not close. This one looks like it's much further up. Let me take another good look at this. Okay, yeah, it's that disc all the way down there, but no way. It can't be. This is much further, maybe by about two feet. It's uh, clearly identifiable. So we won't have two, we won't have two third, third place champions. We'll only have this one. I gotta make sure of that, damn it. That is pretty close. That's damn close, I will tell you. That is damn close. We may have to go too. Okay, there it is right there. I'm walking in a straight line right now, straight as I can. And we're going to find out if this is a, if this is a tie. It doesn't seem like it's a tie. It seems like that one is much further. And I can't see it from here. But I'm going to have to give that one a the third place because this one is just not close enough let me walk it over it's just not close enough i don't think so let me walk this over i mean i don't like to make a, a, a th uh, any kind of a first second or third place tie if we can differentiate but no that one has got to be ahead so there's your third place winner again 149 pro katana second place my little baby the 145 katana I'm sorry, the 145 uh, Corvette in third place. Just eking out, I would say, by a disc. Maybe by a disc and a half. That's it. Maybe a foot. This 149 Pro Pumpkin turn. So there's your uh, results. Throws and results. It took me a little while to get warmed up this morning, I must admit. My arm is sore. From carrying that bastard weed eater around for fucking two hours yesterday. No fun. Big difference between 15 pounds and 26 pounds, I'll tell you. Take care, folks. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe and be nobody. And uh, you'll be part of the Mickey Mouse Club, too. Bye.